All right, so you're taking us to the movies? Yeah, I know how much you love animals. I think you're going to like this a lot. I'm very excited. Yeah, this, this thing is called Gigi and Nate, and it's about a service animal. This, oh. is, this is about a kid who, who has an accident, an uh, unlikely accident could happen to any of us. And uh, Marsha Gay Harden, an Academy Award winner, uh, stars also. We get a chance to talk to her. Check it out, Gigi and Nate. Hey, Gigi. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> oh, she likes me. She just doesn't know it yet. Gigi is no ordinary monkey. She's a service animal who's about to save Nate and his family. Based on a true story, Gigi and Nate is like a superhero movie. Mom, played by Academy Award winner Marsha Gay Harden, makes it a love story. How's it going? It's not coming out. Let's try the peanut butter. Come on, Gigi. Ooh, look at that. Mom, she's supposed to be helping me. Carolyn said it would take time. With a title like Gigi and Nate, you think this is a love story? It is a love story. You hit it right on the head. It's a beautiful love story between Nate, the boy, and his service animal, Gigi, who happens to be female, happens to be beautiful, and happens to be the most caring and nurturing thing he could have in his life and gives him hope. So it is 100% a love story. This is so bad. It's everywhere. He can't be in here. What's that monkey? It's against the law. She's a busybody. And I wanted to punch her right in her Botoxed face. It's a real challenge out there. It's like you guys against the world, but it's their strength together that, that triumphs. And I do think that kind of strength is passed down generation to generation. I do think we learn these things from our parents. And I think that uh, that is highlight in this movie. You know, I you were talking about superheroes a minute ago. And one, it's fine, fine, it's fun, it's summer fun. But I think kids um, and people also we're, we're missing relating to ourselves and relating to the kind of things that happen in our own lives and relating to you know, when the worst thing happens, how do we behave? Gigi allows me to live my life to the fullest every single day. <laughs> I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her. We're relating to characters in this movie that will remind us hopefully of ourselves or the struggle that we've been through. And I think people are hungry for that right now. And I think the movie so beautifully provides that. And certainly for Claire as a mother, you know, what I wouldn't do for my children, I would do anything for my children. I'd go to the end for my children. But what about the real star, Gigi? But I will tell you a little thing, David. At the end of at the end of this at the end of the run, she would go like this for her close up, and I, I could almost hear her go, "Cue the music," and ding, <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Marsha Gay Harden, thank you. You're beautiful. So great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. He has a monkey. Well, what do you want me to do about it? It's free country. Well, we're yeah, I would cry. Yeah, when I, we, were talk, we were talking about it, they said the, the monkey actually learned how to act. Like when, when they would start a scene, the, the monkey was so smart that it would all of a sudden act different. You know, it would like become the character. And actually when it, the scene would end, it would end like the scene is supposed to end. And then it would just sort of like walk away. That would have been probably one of the yeah. coolest parts to see about it. I know, So it's if crazy. the monkey can be trained to act on its own, then maybe I could have had an acting career after all. Well, yeah, of course you could have had an acting <laughs> career. Well, look, look, how, look how nice you're acting today. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm Marcia Gay Harden. She's 63 years old, and she's been in so much stuff. She got the Academy Award in, in Pollock playing the wife. She's Mystic wonderful. River, she was nominated again. She's got a Tony Award. She's just one of those people that's so good, she mm -hmm. sort of just disappears behind the scene, you know? She's, and yeah. looks... Fabulous. And powerful, yeah. She's she's really good. Movie opens this weekend. And That's gonna be a powerful out. film. Yeah. I mean, yeah I tell what, and folks out there, if you want to take the kids, you want to take anybody. This is one of those movies that's for everybody. Doesn't offend anyone. I mean, there's no. no someone's gonna come out. I wish they didn't say that. There's none of that in this movie. So good news. Good news there too. So there you go.